안녕하십니까? 2015년 5월 고등학교 3학년 비상모의대학 수학능력시험 영어 영역 듣기 및 말하기 평가 안내방송입니다. 잠시 후 2015년 5월 고등학교 3학년 비상모의대학 수학능력시험 3교시 영어 영역 듣기 및 말하기 평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 수험생 여러분은 편안한 마음으로 방송에 귀를 기울여 주시고 감독 선생님께서는 스피커의 음량을 알맞게 조절해 주십시오. 수험생 여러분은 답안을 작성하기 전에 반드시 답안지 왼쪽 해당란에 성명, 수험번호 등을 정확하게 기입하고 표기하였는지 확인하시기 바랍니다. 답란에 정답을 표기하기 전에 답안지에 있는 수험생이 지켜야 할 일을 꼭 확인하십시오. 듣기 및 말하기 평가 문제는 1번부터 17번까지입니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 문제지에 있는 다섯 개의 답지 중에서 맞는 답 하나만 골라 답안지에 해당 날에 바르게 표기하십시오. 듣기 말하기 평가는 타종 없이 시작됩니다. 그러면 지금부터 3교시 영어 영역 듣기 및 말하기 평가를 시작하겠습니다. 1번부터 17번까지는 듣고 답하는 문제입니다. 1번부터 15번까지는 한 번만 들려주고 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 답을 하기 바랍니다. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Laura, do you want some coffee? No, thanks. My doctor ordered me not to drink it anymore because of my stomach problems. You're a coffee lover. It must not be easy to follow his orders. 2번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Tom, what are you eating? It's a tomato cucumber salad with almonds. Don't you usually eat a double cheeseburger with fries for lunch? 3번. 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, students. This is Principal Norman. Well, this is my last morning announcement. I mean, you won't hear my voice in the morning announcement from now on. You'll be hearing more familiar voices starting next Monday. We decided to have student council members give the morning announcement. So, the announcement should be more fun as well as more interesting. I heard that the student council members have even already begun thinking of ways to make the morning announcement more enjoyable. I'm sure their ideas will be great. Have a great day. Thank you for listening. 4번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Andy. Good to see you here again. Hi, Connie. I often come to this cafe to read books. Me too. This is a good place to read books, isn't it? Right. It gets a bit noisy from the chatting and laughing people, but it often has a comforting effect. I know what you mean. You think a place being a bit noisy is better for your reading, right? Yes. Silence makes me feel uneasy. I agree. When I read books in a quiet place like a library, I have a harder time concentrating on reading my books. When I'm in a library, I'm worried that I might make a noise, so it makes me uncomfortable. You can say that again. Here in this corner of the cafe, I feel freer and more comfortable. You're right. 
5번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. I'm so pleased to work with you, Ms. Robinson. I'm very flattered. I feel the same way. Some of my acquaintances said that you are the right person to play the role of the main character, Tommy. Thank you. Actually, I've wanted to play the role of Tommy. He looks like a cute character. With you acting the role of Tommy, he could become one of the most popular cartoon characters. I'll try my best. You can still play the role of the boy because you have an attractive voice. How long have you been voice acting? I've been doing this for almost 15 years. What a coincidence. It's been about 15 years since I directed my first animation. How interesting. I can't wait to start rehearsing. We can start right away if you want. I'd love to. Alex is finally coming back. It's been two weeks since he went to the hospital. Yes, I'm so glad he recovered so well. So how's the welcome party for him going? It's going well. Twenty members of our club told me that they would come to the party. What about getting a present for Alex? Oh, you missed the previous meeting. We decided to collect $2 from everyone for a present. Oh, I see. I'll join in, too. Okay. Jane and I will go buy a present this afternoon. I'd like to join, but I can't. I promised to help Mom with cleanup. Okay. Is there anything for me to help you with? Would you book a party room at the Horum Recreation Center? That's no problem. I'll do it. Thank you, Jack. 7번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Mr. Jordan, you've almost finished the wall painting. Yes, Mrs. Parker. I'm putting the finishing touches on it. I like the paintbrush. It's drawing a rainbow in the sky. Right. A boy is riding on the brush like it's a flying broomstick. He looks happy. My kindergarten students will like him. How about the magic carpet flying in the sky? I like it, too. A girl is riding on it. She's waving her hand. Good. I like the big lion and two giraffes on the right bottom corner. The lion looks especially cute. Right. I hope your students like it. I think they will. And they'll also like the balloons in the center of the wall. Do you like the book standing open on the hill? Yes, I like it. 8번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 저녁 식사 메뉴를 바꾼 이유를 고르시오. Honey, I'm home. Hi, Michael. Are you okay? How's your fever and headache? I feel better. I saw a doctor and he gave me a prescription. So, did you take some cold medicine? Yes. Don't worry. I'll be okay. But what a delicious smell. What are you cooking? It's a chicken soup for you. Wow. Didn't you say this morning that you were having steak for dinner? Yes, I did. But when you called me to say that you caught a cold, I changed my mind. I thought chicken soup will help you recover from your cold faster. Thank you. It'll really be better for me. It's Korean ginseng chicken soup. It'll be more healthy and delicious. My mother would make me that kind of chicken soup when I was ill as a child. I can't wait to eat it. 9번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'm here to buy some folding chairs and folding tables. Great. We have a variety of products. 
Would you mind if I ask what your budget is? Not at all. I'm thinking around $15 for a chair and $30 for a table. Would you come over here? These folding chairs cost $20 each. They're the most popular ones. Hmm. Could you show me some cheaper ones? What about these ones? They're $14 each. Other consumers have been satisfied with the price and the quality. Looks good to me. I'll take 10 chairs. Okay. What about this folding table? It's $30. I like it, but would you show me one that is a little cheaper? I'm sorry, but it's the cheapest one here. I see. Then I'll take two tables. Here's my credit card. Hello, this is William's tennis court. Hello, I'd like to rent your tennis court. Okay, when do you need it? Will it be available this Friday afternoon for three hours from 2 to 5 o'clock? Let me check. Yes, it's available. How many people will be using it? There will be four people. How much is the rental fee? It's $30 per hour. Is there anything I should consider before using your court? Yes, there is. You should keep in mind that if any damages to the facility should occur, you'll have to pay for them. I see. I'll rent your court this Friday. Okay. Please tell me your name. This is Kevin Smith. How are you doing, parents of Glen High School? I'm Donna Lee, the school counselor. We'll have the second parent workshop of the year at the school gym on Thursday, June 11th from 6 to 9 p.m. For this year's special event, we have invited a professional guest speaker called Lauren Thomas. She will prepare a lecture on how to help your teen deal with stress. Lauren is not one of our teachers, but works for Hope Counseling Center. There will be a time of questions and answers after the lecture. Please sign up in advance for the workshop. Signing up is available only online at our website. Thank you for listening. Peter, what are you doing on the internet? Mom, I'm looking at backpacks for my field trip next week. My backpack is too worn out. I think so too. You'd better buy a new one. Shall we choose one together? Sure. I think the capacity must be more than 35 liters because I have many things to carry to the trip. You're right. What about the wheels? It will be easier to use the one with wheels. Right. I prefer the ones with wheels. The backpacks with wheels come in two colors. What about the blue one? I want the green one as usual. I love green. Okay. Now you have two backpacks to choose from. There's only a $3 difference. I want to buy the cheaper one. Are you sure about that? You might need one with more room. No, I think that'll be enough for me, Mom. I'll order this one. Jack, what's wrong? You look really sad. Oh, I have a problem with my new novel. Why? 
Didn't you say that you already finished writing about half of it? Yes, I did, and I sent it to my editor, but I just received an email from her. She told me that there are a lot of problems with the novel. Really? Why? She said that she didn't like the characters and the plot. Why didn't she tell you earlier? She told me she was sorry, but she was too busy to read my manuscript until last Saturday. Did she give you more time to write it? Yes, she did. She gave me six months. James, I heard your daughter passed the star audition. That's just the first round. I think she deserves to be celebrated. Thank you for saying so. She's excited, but there's still a long way to go. How many rounds are there in the audition? As far as I know, Contestants must pass five rounds to be in the top ten. Wow, that does not sound easy. Right. Actually, it's hard to pass each round because they must show their talents in three or four minutes. Within only three or four minutes? Yes, it's a very short time. Is it possible for judges to notice talent in such a short time? 15번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 수잔이 크리스틴에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Susan enjoys reading blogs to find good restaurants worth visiting. She usually downloads the photos of the restaurants, posts them on her blog, and makes a plan to visit the restaurants. Her friends, including Christine, often leave comments about the restaurants. Today, Susan finds a fancy restaurant and posts her plan to have dinner there. Christine leaves a negative comment about the restaurant. Susan is curious about Christine's comment. So Susan calls Christine to ask what her experience at the restaurant was like. In this situation, what would Susan most likely say to Christine? 16번과 17번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Do you consume foods while thinking of their effects? If you do so, are you sure that those effects are correct? I think some of us have misconceptions about what the foods we consume do to our body. Let's take potatoes for example. We think eating potatoes will make us fatter because they're high in carbohydrates. But if you eat them in moderate quantities, without butter or sour cream, potatoes won't make you fatter. Also, do you think single food diets are really helpful for your health? The opposite is often true. Foods eaten together can help the digestive system. For example, vitamin C and orange juice can help your body absorb iron in beans and rice. Lastly, some people think that eating only fruit for breakfast gives us health benefits, but it's not true. Most fruits are not very high in complex carbohydrates, which the body needs for fuel for the day. Rather, bread, muffins, and breakfast cereals are a much better source of energy. Do you consume foods while thinking of their effects? If you do so, are you sure that those effects are correct? I think some of us have misconceptions about what the foods we consume do to our body. Let's take potatoes for example. We think eating potatoes will make us fatter because they're high in carbohydrates. But if you eat them in moderate quantities, without butter or sour cream, potatoes won't make you fatter. Also, do you think single food diets are really helpful for your health? The opposite is often true. Foods eaten together can help the digestive system. 
For example, vitamin C and orange juice can help your body absorb iron in beans and rice. Lastly, some people think that eating only fruit for breakfast gives us health benefits, but it's not true. Most fruits are not very high in complex carbohydrates, which the body needs for fuel for the day. Rather, bread, muffins, and breakfast cereals are a much better source of energy. 16번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은?